Dreadlock Adventure. Today's episode, we're going to hike down to a badass lagoon. Brings us through uh, this big dune off here in the distance. It's real nice. Do you gotta be a little careful hiking on the beach though, because there's rattlesnakes out here. I'm going barefoot. So let's get into it. As you can see, some parts is uh, you gotta trek through this muck muck. Most of it's nice sand though. And of course everyone knows you gotta watch out for the sand spurs. They hurt. Ah, as soon as I said that, I goddamn stepped on something. Oops, sorry. Ay, caramba. The sand spurs hurt. Not nearly as bad as the cactus. Damn, look at all these. Bye. side and yep someone took their boat over here so now we're gonna hike down the shoreline Very beautiful. Real calm out today. Nice sized bait fish in the water. It's pretty shallow out there. A lot of these grass beds. seen a lot of little blue crabs but this looks like it might be a big one out here by this piece of debris So there's some uh, ruins of some kind of structure that was here. I ain't going up in there today because there's some massive cactus. And the stuff hurts. There's some nice little ponds over here. I'm about to show you. This dude's over here camping. You hear that dog? <clears throat> Thought I might have to whack the dog with my nunchucks. I'd hate to do that. He rushed me though. Little scary. Doberman. All right. Here's one of the little ponds. There's a whole bunch of these out here. We're getting close to the lagoon. From the lagoon, there's a large saltwater marsh with a bunch of little waterways and stuff. Here's 
Here's our first glimpse of the lagoon. I still gotta walk way around this uh, tip here. Cool little beach over there too. This is uh, pretty big. Like I said, there's a lot of like canals through the saltwater marsh over here. I've seen lots of stingray up in there. I was considering uh, trying to spear hunt some stingray on this expedition. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that quite yet. There's not much wood out here to make something with and I don't have a store-bought gig or anything. Let's continue on. Here's a section that starts to get woody. So you got to walk out to the sand. Great right now. You gotta be careful for stingrays. I think these big spots like this are where they come in and bed. I know they like to come, they'll come up right up to the shore and chill out. And now we're finally getting around all the trees and stumps to my destination, which is this little beach at the mouth of the, the lagoon. I'm just going to make my base camp for the evening, rig up the fishing pole. There's a blue crab. It looks dead though. No. Yes, this beautiful little spot is going to be my base camp. Get my zen on for a little bit. See if I can catch a nice little fish to cook up. Let the sun go down. Head back in. And so here I was just posting up my pack on my base camp I'm all the way at the very tip of this beach the lagoon and then there's already stingray swimming around right over here here he is he's down in his little hole something to spear him with, I could get him right now. Cook him up. Hope we don't attack, because I'm like right on top of him now. Tide is out, so water's real low right now. Guess we'll let him go for now. some adventures in there and then probably head over to the Gulf side and see what's going on over there. 
A lot of mullet jumping around here too. No luck with the fishing so far. So let's take a little trip around the lagoon. I think our first spot beach across the way. With the tide so low, it's probably too shallow to get any good fishing in. Maybe we'll see some bigger stingray or something. Damn, I almost just stepped on this guy right here. By the way, um, this is a good area to get naked in. The sun is shining pretty far. Not many people come out here. It was great. I've never done it. Let's do it. Go out in the wilderness and just get buck naked. Tap into that primal energy. oneness, you know, being out in nature, getting, uh, getting in with the elements, I love it, get the zen peacefulness out of it, it's like a balance between the zen peacefulness and the adrenaline of the unknown and the dangerous. Here's a little tiny guy I just walked up on. A little baby. Gotta slide them toes through the sand. Luckily I've never been stung. Or stabbed or whatever. Here we are, we've made it to the little beach. Beautifier. Moon's out. So it's been a nice little run here to the lagoon. See my camp across the way. I think now I'm gonna hike back. Go get my line in the water on the Gulf side a bit. And maybe catch some dinner. Another uh, decent sized blue crab. You don't even realize I'm here yet. Walking right up to me. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Here's a campsite those dudes were at with a dog. It's like they left their machete. Tempted to salvage it, but I'm gonna leave it in case they come back for it. Fire's still smoldering a little. Right here on this pretty uh, pond. So I was hoping to get to the Gulf side before the sun went down. <clears throat> Don't look like it's gonna happen though. Still gonna trek over there anyways. 
through the dunes. Looks like they left one of their chairs too, or it fell out along the trail. Tempted to salvage that, but if they left both those things there, then they're probably coming back to get them. I'm going to leave them. Got to be a good Samaritan, right? We've made it now to the Gulf. It's a beautiful evening out here. When the sky is clear and the moon is out like this, it's like a moonscape out here. The island is made of a quartz crystal. It almost lights up in the moonlight. Hopefully this camera will pick it up. Well, the moon's not quite full, so you can't really see much. You can see a lot more, but you can't see through this camera. So, hope you enjoyed uh, this adventure. Tune in next time for some more Dreadlock Adventure. Peace, love, and respect.